taking a look at the Ruckus ICX, we wanted to talk about the command line structure. So there's three different levels of the command line that we can access as an administrator of this device. So we can see that I am connected to my device, which I've named Ruckus, and then there's the greater than symbol at the end of the host name. This denotes that we're at the user exec level. So there's three different levels um, for the command line. There's user exec, privilege exec, and the config level. And we are at the first basic level for user exec. So if we simply press tab or enter in a question mark, we can see all of the commands that are available to us at this level. So from user exec, you can see that we could run things like a ping to verify connectivity between this device and external sources. Uh, we could do a show interfaces uh, brief command. So we could take a look at ports and their port status to see if they're up or they're down or what speed they're connected at. We can also run a show running configuration command to take a look at the actual switch configuration. So the user exec level is going to be um, for people that need to verify com connectivity and configurations, but may not necessarily need to change those configurations. The next level that we're going to discuss is the privileged exec level, and it can be accessed from the user exec level by entering the enable command. So this enable command can actually be password protected. In this case, it is not. But you can see that once we do enter the privileged exec command, we see that we have a pound sign. So when you see the pound sign, you know that you are at the privileged exec level. And from the privileged exec level, we have a lot more options that we can do. And we can actually make some changes to the switch. So from, from this level, we can do things like change uh, the booted flash partition. So if we wanted to boot from a different um, flash partition, we could do that here. We can execute a boot command to do that. We can reload the switch if we want. We can do a reload on the device and the switch will reload. We can also perform uh, upgrades to the software. So if we needed to do a copy command to copy new firmware to this device, uh, we could do that. Um, you can also clear statistics. So if you had some interfaces uh, that you were currently monitoring and you wanted to uh, clear out the current counters, you could actually issue a clear uh, statistics command uh, for those interfaces. So we could do clear statistics and it would actually reset all the counters for all the interfaces so that you could then start fresh monitoring those in real time to take a look at any you know errors on those ports. So uh, privilege exec is, is a very important level, and it is how you access the next level, which is the config level. And to do that, you simply just enter in from this level. You just type in config or config T for config terminal, and it will take you in to the configuration level. Now, this is where you actually start to make some direct changes to specific things like interfaces. And what we'll notice is if we want to target an interface, Let's say we're just going to do interface uh, 111. Uh, it actually changes the context of the config level. So we can see that we're at config interface E1000 port 111. So we talked about in the presentation uh, how the stack ID, the uh, slot number, and port number uh, make up the interface number totally. Um, but we can see 111 here is our port 1 on this particular device. So we could then additionally do some configurations for this. We can enable and disable this interface. We can configure the uh, speed for this. We can um, cr create an IP address. If we're running router code, we can put an IP on this. Uh, we can do a lot of specific commands. So most of the commands where you're needing to, to change um, a specific uh, facet or feature, you're going to be doing that from the config level.